old man, a boy, and a donkey were heading into town. After I got a little way up the road, the little boy was riding the donkey. They passed some people that expressed their opinion. It's a shame that little boy is riding the donkey while the old man is walking. So they decided to switch. They got down a little ways further, and they ran to another crowd. I said, what a shame he would make that little boy walk while he rides the donkey. They said, well, maybe the crowd was right. So they both decided to walk. As I got down the street a little way further, they ran to another crowd that laughed at them. What fools! They have a perfectly good donkey, yet they both choose to walk. So they decided to do the only natural thing. They both decided to carry the donkey. <laughs> Again, they ran to another crowd. As they walked across the bridge, they, the donkey slipped and fell into the water. The moral of this story is, if you try to please everyone, you'll surely lose your donkey. <laughs> Contest master, fellow Toastmasters and guests, this is a lesson I've learned time and time again. Some might say, time after time. And I'll explain. I'm going to take you back to 1980. I had just gotten a Walkman for Christmas. It looked something like this, pretty small. I was riding in the car with my mom, her friend was in the passenger side, and I had my brother in the back seat. I said to myself, Self, this is a great time to please everyone with your wonderful voice. Now, I have to warn you, I don't sound as good as I did then, <laughs> but I'll try it. My favorite song came on the radio. Look, you can look, and you will find me <laughs> time after time. If you fall, I will catch you. I'll be waiting <laughs> time after time. If you look, you can find, and you will find me time after time. If you fall, I will catch you. Oh, I'll be waiting. <laughs> now, at this time, my mom's friend turns around, and she said, who was that? Now, what I heard was, who was that with that beautiful voice? <laughs> to which I replied, that was me. She turned around again and said, well, you need to stop. <laughs> Let's just say, I'll never try to please her again. Which brings me to a next, another story. I used to live in a little town called Buchstock, Germany. I stayed on the military base. Our housing building was a pretty big building. We had about four or five stairwells, all about eight stories high. Well, that particular day, I had a young lady come over. I looked, I kind of had a little interest in the young lady. And she was kind of one of those family friends, so we would always spend time with either I at her house or she at mine. One morning she came over and began to eat some oatmeal. And quickly, Mom, let me get a bowl of that. My brother said, well, what? You don't even like oatmeal. <laughs> but I like that girl. <laughs> <laughs> I brought her outside, and I said, let me show you something. Now, my mom warned me, never play in these stairwells, and definitely don't go out on that ledge. But what did I do? I'm going to please this girl. So I go out on the ledge. What happens, though, I happen to miss the ledge, and I fell to the ground, and I didn't even get an applause. <laughs> After that, they called me Superman. But that's okay. But let's just say I'll never try to please that girl again. But you know what they always say? A hard head makes a soft donkey. There you go. <laughs> the last story, there was another young lady involved. Let's call her Nikki. Well, in fact, her name actually was Nikki. <laughs> I love me some Nikki. There was nothing bad you can tell me about Nikki. Until one day, I kind of slipped away from Nikki. And I found myself in the midst of cheerleaders. One that I used to have an intimate relationship with. And Nikki comes around the corner, and I'm busted. Oh, I'm sorry, baby, I'm sorry. And I explained to her that I just kind of met the girl, and I've never known her before that. And Nikki kind of went for it. 
So me and Nikki were still me and Nikki. Life was good. But as time went on, I began to feel bad. I lost many nights of sleep. I couldn't eat. Well, I didn't skip any meals. <laughs> Please, please, please.